The architecture of his country is the architecture of our values. Thus, the man of Cor Portugal became, through his work, a man of the world. Thank you very much, Eduardo. Can I ask you to come up and receive uh, the Pritzker Prize for 2011? of compelling originality that address the future but draw meaning and value from the past. Wang Xu, can I ask you to come up? On behalf of our family and the jury, I congratulate you and award you with the 2012 Pritzker Architectural Prize. It's the courage to aspire to affect people, physically and emotionally, that's the basis of Toyo Ito's work. Toyo, can I ask you to come up to the stage? Shigeru Ban, architecture summons us to acknowledge the importance of architecture to people at all stations of life and in all parts of the world. Shigeru Ban teaches us that architecture must touch the earth ever so lightly and embrace the human family ever so firmly. Shigeru, can I ask you to come up here, congratulate you, and thank you for what you do. to hear from Fry Otto in his own words on the occasion of his hearing the news that he was to be this year's Pritzker Laureate. And that's the reason that I am now so happy about this Pritzker Prize and I thank the family of Pritzker very much that I had the opportunity. I never have done anything to gain this prize. that I start, I have an envelope, and I don't know if it's a love letter from my wife, <laughs> or but I'm passing that along to you. Uh, and then the second is the Pritzker Prize Medal. Uh, and with this, you join quite a distinguished group of people, many of whom are here uh, to honor you this evening. So congratulations. Pritzker jury honors them for the physical and spatial beauty of their built work, for the artistry and craftsmanship of each of the buildings and structures, and for the functionality of their work as it serves the purposes and peoples who engage in those works. Aranda, Pijem, and Vilalta present us with an example of balancing local needs with global ideas. The journey. Doshi's journey was not just a professional journey not just a trip to another continent. He traveled not just to the West, but to the inner depths of his spirit. So for our family, this year's selection resonates deeply. Balkrishna Doshi, can I ask you to please come forward? And it's with great pleasure that I present you with this year's Pritzker Architectural Prize for 2018. 
So. I cannot imagine a better symbol of resilience than our 2019 Pritzker Laureate. It's not only his architecture that's deserving of the prize, it's also his spirit that is deserving of the prize. Arati Sosaki, please can I ask you to come forward? It's a great pleasure for me to award you Pritzker Architectural Prize for 2019. Architecture is an ancient art, which needs each of us to continue and transform it. Being an architect means that we add to the crust of this fragile planet. We need to add beauty and be efficient with the resources we specify. Materials in closed spaces shelter our physical and psychological selves. Materials from the earth form our palette, from which we need to choose carefully. Recently, I was asked to write a letter to a young architect. And as we stand here in the long room in Trinity, I send this gibbon arrow as a letter to the future. There are many different types of architects. Become the best that you yourself might be. The world is a beautiful and amazing place. Look around you and see how wonderful the ordinary is. You are privileged by being trained as an architect. Share it. Give of your talent and time in rich society by being you. People rely on you to transform their needs and dreams into actual space. Do your best. Standing here almost alone in this room, celebrating this wonderful honor of the Pritzker Prize with no audience, brings to mind the empty stage of a Samuel Beckett play. But of course we are not alone. We're in a space which holds time and knowledge and treasures of the mind. We can feel the presences of all the great people who passed through this great space. We chose this room so that we could celebrate the power of architecture here in our own city, so that we would feel part of a bigger order, which of course is one of the functions of architecture. We are going forward, not backwards, to a time of Alberto, the great 15th century humanist, who saw architecture as the infrastructure of civilized life. The first principles of architecture are becoming once again the first principles of architecture. This crisis of climate change and pandemic makes us think about the free gifts of nature, of light, of air, water, sun, wind, shade, earth, and plants. These are our resources, our materials as architect, and they demand respect, care, and love. When we are uh, thinking, uh, designing the project where, where, where we are starting to, 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 to work on the site, um, we never think in terms of forms. So uh, it's what we call uh, from the inside out. It means that we, um, we think the project from inside. For us, it's important this, um, the principle of uh, looking of what we have in hands and what we could do with it. We are always talking about the existing city, existing situations. And we are inside these situations. It's a different approach of urbanism, no more from above, but from inside, with this curiosity and this precision. And, and we are really interested in this process of uh, um, transformation, addition, uh, expansion, uh, superimposition. Uh, because for us, this, the, this opportunity of doing more with what we have. We call plus. That means that we should never demolish, never demolish, because always we have to consider what is already there 
this memory, this life that people spend there, even in difficult conditions. We did some, uh, some projects of transformation and especially of uh, social, modern social housing. This is a transformation of three big blocks of 530 dwellings and we did, we did it uh, without removing uh, any family from the, from the building, but with the ambition of uh, transforming the, the space of living in a much better way and to, uh, to give another 50 years life of this building. And we transformed this into uh, beautiful housing with uh, much more space for every uh, inhabitant. Here at this scale, uh, it was really a part of the city and, uh, and we were expecting that it could really show the relevance of uh, this process of uh, transformation instead of demolition and rebuild.